Hello everyone, you guys are welcome back. Um, it's good to be back. It's been a while. I hope you guys are cool. Um, in today's class, I will teach us how to make um the cape, cape eye and low dress. Let me put it that way. Just like a cape, but it's going to be eye and low. The description. Let me say it's gonna be like this. It's gonna have a bishop collar. That is, if you wanted to have a bishop collar, then if you like, you can decide to just use rope. Rope will serve as the collar, and you'll be able to tie it at the back. That's if you want. So you're gonna come this way. It's going to come this way. It's going to come this way. This is the front. Then the back goes like this because it is high. It is high and low. Then here we have elastic. I don't know if you guys have seen it clearly. Here we have elastic. We're gonna have elastic here. So this is it. The neck. Bishop definitely is going to have little opening at the back. It's going to have little opening at the back. Then this is the front. This is the back depending on your choice of length. If you like you can make it. It it shall depend on um your choice of length, both the front and the back, but the idea is high and low. So I don't make the diagram, but this is what I'm trying to explain. Let me use this side so that you see clearly. For instance, this is it. I'm using I'm using three yards of organza material. You can decide to use four yards, depending on how long you want it. But I'm making use of three yards. So this is the idea. So assuming this is the full length you want for the back, you understand? So assuming this is the front, assuming this is the front, if you look at it now, this one is low, this one is high. You understand so all you need to do is just get your neck and it's going to be bishop um it's going to have bishop color so it shouldn't be too wide you can decide to make it three three or three two point five you understand so then the back definitely is just going to be one the back is just going to be one then the front will be the front will be 3, 2.5, so that it won't be too wide. You don't have to slant anything here. So from this side, from this side, you can decide to measure 10 or 12 inches. You understand? You measure 10 or 12 inches. That is where you are going to put the elastic. So from this side now, you are going to curve it. You make it look like a flay. You make it look like a flay, like something like this. Just make it look like a flay. Then the front too. You do the same thing. Make it look like a flay, like this. I'm just using this paper to illustrate so that you understand what I'm saying. So it's going to be like this. You understand? It's going to be like it's going to be too sharp like this. So you're going to make it like this join here you join here then you tag from that 10 inches i said here earlier you tag you tag here too so that you can you can put your elastic here and you just pipe this other place you're not going to join anything just tag that 10 inches then put your elastic in between join here join here pipe this place and then you put your um what is it called the bishop color so let me do that on fabric so that you see so this is what I'm talking about. This is the fabric. This is the organza I'm using. This is uh, both the front and the back together. And I've already, I've already ironed it and I've placed it on each other. So what I will do now is from here. I hope you guys are seeing clearly. From here, you measure three or three point five. 
you know it doesn't have um the round neck is not standard it doesn't have a standard measurement depending on the neck you're working with you understand uh, so you might even possibly use 2.5 to depending on how big the person's neck is so here 3.5 then here 2.5 so only the front you just cut it you just cut it like then the back just like i said measure one inch down like this then you curve together so by the time you join you join this upper part the other thing will just uh it will rhyme up then you measure from here leaving out the half inch you're going to join from here so place your tape like this then get the desired length you want at the front part i think here i am going to use 37 i'm going to use 37 and don't forget i made mention of um, 10 inches from this part either 10 or 12 just like i said i'm using 12 here so now this is the 38 uh, 37 inches i measured with the one inch i'm going to fold uh i'm going to use in a minute so just you cut like this Understand? You give it that that a cough up to the ten inches. You take it up to that ten inches. Then, if you like, you can see make this place go straight. You won't just start the uh, the cough from here. You can still decide to go straight before you start coughing from there, depending on the kind of shape you want in this area. So now you measure again to get the back length. You understand? same thing just leave out just um what is it called half inch for the joining here then you take it to wherever you want the the length to stop at the back so here i'm going to use um 50 i'm going to use 54 i'm going to use 54 You know this this one is stopping at um what is it called this front one is stopping at 30 38 that's 37 plus one inch for the folding so you can just continue your measurement from there to get it back if you're not having a very big table so here i'm having um let me use 52 so that it won't be too long i'm going to use 52 so plus the one inch allowance you use in a minute. So I just I just going to curve like this. The curve. You are going to curve up to that ten, uh, ten inches. You are going to curve it up to that ten inches, yeah. So that is that about the cutting. I hope the cutting is clear. So what I will do now is I will join the shoulder. Put my um sorry then aim it. I'm going to fold it round. I'm going to aim it round. Then tag. I'm going to tag this place after aiming. If you want to make it easy for yourself, just join the shoulder. Then aim everything round. You understand? So after aiming round, just tag your twelve uh, your twelve inches here. Just tag it together, then you put your elastic uh, inside, then you just sew it once. Let me do that so that you see. So after joining, just like I said, I explained earlier, this is it. Just join the shoulder. And the 12 inches I was talking about, this is it. You just tag, you understand? Just a little tag in here so that you can you can have this place so that you'll be able to put your elastic 
the same thing here just tag you understand if you are not going to do any much sewing you just tag it after we measure the um 12 inches so this i have already m it round but the front and the back if you look at it so now you know definitely this neck this neck um um head will not be able to go through here you understand it's not be able to pass through so all you need to do is just fold into two fold into two like this then you measure like six or seven inches so that your head will be able to pass through like this then you just give it little shape here you're not just going to cut straight you understand just give it a little curve here so that you'll be able to use your bias to pipe it you'll be able to use your bias to pipe it you understand so this one should be able to enter any kind of head you understand so you pipe this place then the elastic here let me show you the way you put the elastic here on the pipe in here if you want to pipe this if you want to pipe that neck just do it this way this is your cutting bias i believe you guys can see clearly this is your cutting bias so just put this at the middle like this then you fold you fold together so that this will be at the middle you understand i don't know if you are seeing it clearly i don't know if you get what you guys get what i'm doing so just after that just put it and you are going to sew it round just like this make sure the, the, the fabric is in between the lining then you sew it round so after we might have sewn it so this is the way it's going to come out as you iron it you understand it's going to come out this way this is it i already have like two videos uh that uh contains um bishop color so if it is bishop color you want to uh, you want to attach here i will i will, I will send the link um in my description box on how to cut and fix a bishop color um, you just just fast forward the video to um, minutes 14 start from 14 minutes I think that is where the, the color stuff started from you understand you'll be able to do that but if you don't want to pull bishop color just like I said you can decide to just pipe this round or maybe you can decide to cut a very long rope and you attach it and you'll be able to tie it at the back I don't know if you guys understand what I'm trying to say hey <laughs> but if you want a bishop color I'm going to drop a link in my description box that contains how to cut and sew a bishop color i'm going to put that there so here putting the elastic here just like i said you see i've already i'm this place so if you just want to put the elastic now this is the way you're going to do it just start from that place that you notch that you've stitched it you understand that is from the inside that is from the inside so just place it like this place your rubber like this then you stitch on it just make sure it's not coming out from this side you understand it here so you start drawing your elastic you start drawing your elastic that's the way you're going to do it ultra so after when you matter because as you are sewing on it you are drawing the elastic you are sewing on the elastic and you are drawing it you understand so it will, it will bring in um the fabric together so to come out this way you like and decide to use black um, elastic depending on the color you want to use and sand that is the way you do the other side too and um, you fix your bishop color just like I said definitely after when you might uh, fix the color you understand you are definitely going to put hook at the back that is baby hook or you decide to put um, bra hook or you decide to put a um, button you understand you can decide to just create this little hole here then you put button at the back and the cape dress is ready thank you very much everybody for watching please don't forget to share and subscribe see you guys next time